All right, back to the game. See what's going on. What the fuck is that doing there? What? Where did that come from? Did he get a treasure or something? 45 word. Did Phoenix pick up a villager treasure? I don't think there is a villager treasure on this map. Why the hell is there a villager all the way over here? Uh, that that makes no sense. Why would anyone do that? He literally walked a villager from that manor house, I presume. Okay. This guy, this guy proper. Oh my god, this guy's so lame. He 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 shoots back your um your starting herds. It's so it's so stupid. I mean, I can't talk. I can't talk. I have definitely done that before. This matchup. No, no one smacks ports. Absolutely no one smacks ports other than probably Aztec. The Civ is is o o p. And and Opti's giving Brits a chance by not ten tening. <laughs> Port smack Azzy now as well, do they? There, there you go. I mean, if ports are smacking Azzy, then god damn. If an Aztec rush can't beat ports, then you're in trouble. <laughs> Opti's turn to use villagers. Quite the quite the aggressive uh, forward TC. Oh Jesus Lord, what is this? Oh goodness me, Opti, giving his opponent a chance to win this game. By the way, that, that's kind of a bad TC placement as well. I know he's trying to protect this herd and this uh, this gold mine, but because of this native TP here, it's just kind of squashes everything together, and like longbows are just going to be able to sit here and just rain down fire and everything. It's kind of a bad placement, in my opinion. But we'll uh, we'll find out and see. Opti's first shipment is literally spice trade. And this guy is building manners all across the map. To be fair, this is how you this is how you're supposed to play Brits every single game. This guy's this guy's mana placement is actually really, really good. Like we've got look look at the manners absolutely everywhere, really wide. Not even not even a, a a mana in the base. Like you know, like at the start of the game when you just want to get the manners down as quickly as possible. He's not he even he doesn't even do that. So really good mana placement. And you think, well, that's that's just the basics. No, I, every every Brit player almost I see doesn't do mana houses like this. Almost everyone got an outpost down here. It's interesting using that as a line of sight kind of. Look at this, man. Just villagers everywhere. You do run the risk of just having kind of villagers, uh, like, just, just kind of littered everywhere. And he has gone for a starting... Oh, look at that. It's behind the trees. A really bad, bad placement uh, stable as well, by the way. But this is Opti, so what can I say? Classic double rack, starting five pike. I'm not sure what he's going to try to achieve with those five pike. Why would he five pike? Uh, does Phoenix see the stable? That's probably why he sees the stable. Nice. Opti going to be picking up 90 wood. He'll have that. Pure pikeman. So he's uh, forced a nice response for his opponent here. Literally for two hazards. Two hazards. He's forcing pure pikeman right now. He'll probably go into pikemen into longbows, and these pikemen will be helpful if he wants to siege at some point. So that's not too bad. 700 wood, 600 wood into... What are we going to see? Nice. Is that villager going to stay alive? No. Just going to live another day to build that mana down. Love this. This guy always does this as well. Always puts those mana houses by the line of sight of the, the native TPs. 
So you can't get that line of sight until you take the hazard down. It's really, it's really frustrating that this guy, this guy plays Brits well. As much as I hate to admit it, because he's one of Revnak's cronies. Oh, but Opti going for natives, going for those Lepka Tartars. That's kind of nice. I like that. But yeah, is it going to be Longbow Pike? So many pikemen here. These things are, these things have, look at their rate of fire and their fire animation. It's just insane. Look at that. 1.25 fire rate. <laughs> That's insane. Look at these things go. Yeah, boys. Damn. And I bet this brick guy did not see that coming. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at these things go. They don't actually have any bonuses versus them. But they have. They do have 14 range as well. Wow. <laughs> and Opti is no stranger to this unit because he knows how to micro this unit. You can just tell. He, oh, my good Look, he knows what he's doing. God damn, he just completely cleared all of those pikemen. I'm not sure what their melee attack is like, but I don't think it's that good. And they, yeah, they will get absolutely melted by Longbow. Pikemen chasing down some more hazards. So, yeah, I mean, wow. Like, who who else could do this? Like, how Hang Opti is just such a... He's so good at doing this, man. Just absolute genius. 34 vils for Brits. And if we take a look at his line of sight, look at that line of sight. Ready. Putting this down now as well for the line of sight around there. Look at this line of sight. He's just insane. Just insane. Literally every angle, almost every angle. Hazars cannot find a way in without some line of sight finding them. Just for you guys who are a bit blind, look at that. Look at that line of sight. Not bad, not bad. 36 vils, 37 vils, about to be 41 uh, when the four villagers comes in. So he did go six longbows first. Up the aging up behind all of this. He's on 31 villagers. My God, Portugal, stop. He has shipped Fatorius as well and Spice Trade. So he is ba 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 booming. So I, I do believe that Opti has made a load of Lipcar Tartars and he has shipped the the Lipcar Tartar. I, I can't remember how much it costs, but there's a there's a card that I, I think gives you a load of them and it makes does something to their, uh, buffs them in some way. You can tell blue hasn't touched grass. <laughs> I have Tartar jeans that also giving me hype. Very, very cool. Seven, 350 food and 350 wood. Yes, it's quite expensive. Gives them plus one range or two range. Um, yeah, I think two range all over archers one. Yeah, so it does buff them. It obviously buffs their range by the, by the looks of it. I imagine it buffs it by two because it seems like 12 would be a much more standard range. Aged up with the Shot of Warriors. So, so confident he aged up with units. Shot of Warriors coming in, but they're going against the Pikes. You don't want to be doing that. The Shot of Warriors should have gone for the Longbows. I think Harrowing obviously just forgot about them. Minutemen coming in. Casador's being shipped. He's on three TCs now. He's got lots of food somehow. But these Lip Car Tartars. Oh, my God. The, the damage that they deal because of that fire rate is just insane. Like, they basically have, like, I mean, 2.5 and then 50, 30. It's, they basically have, like, 35 attack. Like, imagine they have a 35 attack, a goon with a 35 attack damage. It's just insane. 14 range. So much damage output. Insane. And now he's going to go Casador. Probably a bit of a skirm goon. That's an OP skirm goon as well. They are paper thin, though. They are paper thin. They are the pink wafers of the biscuit world. Classic GUA rating going on right now. It doesn't get any more annoying than that. We probably will be losing them. That's the classic. Oh, let's send uh, the, the six musketeer shipment from the, uh, the outpost to go raid. And that's going to buy me some time. 
whilst I try and age up probably behind this. Look at that. Fucking hell, so beautiful. Opti on zero food, though. He literally has no herds by the looks of it. Uh, oh, he does have some herds behind his base. Lots of gold. What's he going to spend it on? Organ guns! Doesn't have the uh, the mercenary shipments in his deck. Wow, Opti 2k score up. My god. This guy, the lip car tartar, showing why those things are some mean ass natives. Honestly, one of the best natives in the game. One of the best natives in the game. Usually you see France go lip car tartars. It's quite a popular build in uh, tournament games and stuff, but not with Portugal, which is cool to see. Scores neck and neck now. Uh, Brits have bounced back. 42 vils for Opti. 58 for Brits. He's aging up. No GMT though, so it's going to be quite slow age up. Does have the House of Vaza, and it looks like he will just probably... Uh, he probably wants Hanseatic League as well, which is just an extra bit of... Uh, an extra bit of eco. But it will be worth getting the Order of, Va uh, Order of Vaza big button. Uh, because with 58 villagers... Gathering at, what, is it 10%? No, villagers is 25%. So 25% added onto that is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, mixing in some hazards, keeping Phoenix on his uh, on his toes, forcing that pike response. Brit's going lots of pikemen here. Such a slow age up though without GMT. Up to on fifty two villagers. So super super close. Organ guns are out, though. Well, it's got some halberdiers, lip cars, hazards. Just a bit of everything. Just a bit of everything. And why not, eh? Why does this keep going off? Something, Something's going off on here. I'm not going to attack. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, villagers could siege that. Oh, he wants to siege that manor as well for that line of sight being super annoying. Interesting. Opti has the uh, option of going for the balance of powers, which would be really uh, efficient there. Oh, he should have just used it, but instead he just sold a load of food. Nice Hazar raid going on down here. Oh, yes. And this is why I get rid of that line of sight. Look, everything now. Oh, it's going wrong for Opti. He's going to have to split his army. He is. He's doing a nice job splitting as well. Oh, he's got why There's so much APM going on right now. So much micro. So many villagers dying. Run those hazards home. Still doesn't have veterancy on those hazards yet. Oh, and he's managed to sneak hazards again down here. Opti doesn't see them either. He's running the right way. I don't see them. I don't want to see them. Oh, no. Now I'm just going the wrong way. Where are they going to be? Where are they going to be? Oh, wait. Where did they go? Wait. Oh, how did they slip under there? <laughs> Holy cow. No. Opti. That's, oh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. There's going to be a nice juicy raid there. He does have better in Hazars. Constable coming in now. Oh, that's a lot of villagers. And Opti's not paying attention. Oh, but nice cleanup with the pipeman here. Holy cow. Oh, this is going to be the lip car tartars just melt the pipeman. Just when it was looking good for him with all of the uh, the raiding going on, he's getting his own raids in now. And look at this mass of units. Just 48 units of a bit of everything. Most of it being cavalry. And look how disgusting that is. Beautiful. I like that as well. Even if there's pipemen here, you just dive in and the lip car tartars will just absolutely destroy the pipemen. 
Constables come in as well. So look, 40 hand attack, 432 HP. And I think that's going to be all she wrote. Down to 43 vils though. Phoenix lost the load there as well. He's only on 53 now. Lots more Hazards coming in. That's a lot of, that's a big remaster of Hazards. But I think with the lip cars there, I don't think it's going to be enough. Explorer coming back. Villager ball coming in. He's going to try and deal with the organ guns that way. Okay, he's just shipped nine musketeers. When do you ever see that shipment? Big villager ball coming in. Longbows needs to be killing the Tartars. This is going to be close. Scores are still quite close. He's losing so many villagers. And look at that remass of veteran Hazards coming in. And with that, it's going to be GG. Turned out to be a fantastic game. But Opti knows his uh, knows his natives. And that was very impressive by him. Very impressive, impressive start opening by him. And look at that. Look at that. Look how close he can keep it. Look how close he can keep it. With Fatorius. With Fatorius, that's very close. That's basically even at that point. That is basically even. Bruh, this Civ, man. 